हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इंग्लिश विद देहाती मैम एंड दिस इज यशोदा एंड फ्रेंड्स करेंटली इट्स फाइव थर्टी अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड आई इन माई किचन माई पोटैटो आर बींग बॉयल्ड एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी कट द करी फ्लावर जस्ट टू मेक करी एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो चॉप्ड अनियन एंड गार्लिक आई पेज ऑफ एंड नाउ आई हैव टू कुक फूड by 7:30 and i have also warmed some water for myself to drink because early in the morning we have to drink lots of water to just be healthy and to remove all the all the impurities from our gut from our body and i just want to tell you usually i don't uh, cook food uh, that much early in the morning but what happened last night uh, not my husband neither my husband nor i had food mm, there was some reasons because of this we didn't have and now i'm starving that's why i'm doing this thing and uh, meanwhile i thought why shouldn't i make a uh, make a video so and after this after cooking food even i haven't had shower yet yeah i will have but first i i will prefer to drink water lick warm water not by standing it's by sitting because we should avoid we should avoid drinking water by standing if you want to drink water then find a nice place sit and then drink water sip water okay and you don't have to gulp water you have to drink water you have to like eat water Yes, it's not good for our health, and uh, I wanted to share so many things from you. Most of my viewers and um, subscribers, they must have been thinking like, I don't have any problem, but it's wrong. I have lots of problems in my life, and just to manage all those things, I take this responsibility. I don't give this, um. Said it to anyone that because of that person something bad is happening in my life because it's my own life. If something bad is going in my life, then I have to tackle out from this problem, and I'm trying my level best. Yesterday, my husband he was totally depressed because of some reasons, some family issues, and I was the only there who consoled him, and he was literally crying because of some family issues issues. you know he takes care of my whole family all his brothers all his brothers all his sisters but not even a single of one single one of them they care about my husband and he can f- understand everything you know now he is not a small child he has grown up and he understands everything just by their behavior and that's why even currently my husband and i we are living in my own house we got built this house last year last year this time it was being built okay and now my husband he has decided now i don't want to live here anymore i can stay in a rental house happily but i don't want to live here so what am i supposed to do what kind of advice Uh, shall i give to my husband i got built this house not only i it was also my husband's dream and even every housewife's dreams to have a to have her own house but even after building our own house if we can't live in our life then what are we supposed to do what should we do where to go what to do what not to do Nowadays, my husband and I, especially my husband, he is suffering from financial issues, just because of he spends each and every amount of money on my all family members, not only on them but also in farms, like just to get seeds, just to water the fields, and harvesting everything. He spends money, and now he is short of money, so. in life money matters a lot if you are 
if you not uh, if you don't earn money then you don't have any respect no one is there to help you no one is there to stand by you in the time of your need but being her wife uh, being his wife it becomes my duty to always be here to always stand by with him and i am feeling so proud that i am the only one at least who is helping my husband but whenever i see my husband crying so i can't control i don't know why all of them they are doing with this thing with us i am not blaming any single person they are not saying anything they haven't said anything to my husband neither to my husband nor to me but at least this thing hurts us why they don't say anything to us at least they should come to my husband they should say they should at least give them that much respect as an elder brother that is his right but they don't do this thing okay i have no problem my husband and i somehow we can survive it's time of need it's time of problem but i can handle with my husband i have no issue i don't want to blame anyone however i would like to say only one thing if they don't understand my my husband and my problem then later on we will also not uh within 5 within 6 months there is marriage of my sister in law and who is responsible for this only my husband and i no one of them they have also grown up even one of them uh just recently he has become father still he has no feeling for his brother elder brother not only for her brother but uh, for his brother but also for his father so i am also uh thinking like that i have to i have to find a good house again as a rental house and again i will stay as a tenant not to here because if there is no happiness in your life if there is uh, no respect the surrounding in which you live especially when it comes to your family and i think we should live we should find a particular way to make us happy and if my husband he finds that happiness just by living apart from this family then i'm ready i'm always there to support him and that's the thing i would like to say now i'm going to cook food I'll meet you tomorrow. Till then, bye bye. Sorry to say, I was so emotion emotional today. That's why I did this. Otherwise, usually I don't say anything against my family. This is the thing which I was taught in since my childhood that you should always be respectful for your family, for all your family members. But. it's nothing to it's not my cup of tea to tolerate everything every time it's been 8 uh, years since i got married my husband was uh, initially 4 and 5 years especially yeah especially for 4 years no one was in contact with my husband and i later on they started when my husband starts started earning money then they had a very strong bond between my husband and my family or them but after i think after 4 years now i am facing this much critical situation and that's why now i got the reality that money matters a lot in your life if you don't have money then nothing is there and i am saying this this thing on behalf of my husband my husband is he's kind of a shy person as well as he's kind of a emotional person more than me so 
he doesn't have that much guard to speak anything in front of camera as well as in front of that person but i have i have suffered a lot in my life since my childhood that's why now i am a strong person and i can say whatever i feel like in front of anyone but just because of my husband he always stops me he has lots of respect love affection towards his family and family members that's why so it's okay i have no issue it's not only his family but also it's my family and if i am here today in this house shooting a video then just because of that family my husband is concerned my husband is concerned only about his father he loves his father a lot and i also love my father a lot the father not who is alive not who is uh, there in my village but the one who who raised me up who gave me that much knowledge who helped me to be educated and because of all those things today i am here in front of you and now i would like to say bye bye friends we'll meet tomorrow till then bye bye